Hi guys, welcome to the How To Studio. In this video, I will show you how to add page number on specific pages in Microsoft Word. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe. So I have a document here which has my title page as the first page, my table of content as my second page, and my introduction as my third page and so forth. And I don't want to add page number on my title page or my table of content page. I want my page number to start from my introduction page. So I want my introduction page to be page one. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to add page numbers on specific page. Now, the first thing you need to do is to actually add the page number on all your pages. So to do this, you wanna to go to the insert tab and then you wanna click on page number. I'm gonna put mine at the bottom right of my page. As you can see, my page number has been automatically added. I'm gonna double click in my document to remove this highlight here. And I'm gonna scroll up and show you my page numbers. So on my table of content page, I have page one, page two, page three, and so forth. So I have actually um, a number, a page number on my table of content page, which I don't want. I want my page number to start on my third page, which is my introduction page. So I want this to start from page one, not from page two. And to do this, you're going to have to create sections in your document. So we need two sections. We need a section where it consists of this table of content, this um, title page, and this table of content page that has no page numbers. And then the second section is going to have page numbers. And it's going to start from page one going onwards so let me show you how to create sections the first thing you want to do is you want to click at the beginning of the page where you want the page number to start on in this case is my introduction page then you're going to go to layout and then you're going to click break then you're going to click go to next page and this will create your sections. You can't actually see the sections that has been created unless you actually use a show and high key, um, show and high icon. Let me show you where that is. So go to home, then click on this show and hide option. And if you scroll down, you can see here is where the section break has been created that we just selected. So now we have two sections where we can make this first section not have any page number and this second section have page number. So I'm going to unselect this option and then we're going to go ahead to um, making our introduction page or first page. So now if I look at my introduction page, it's not starting at page one. Um, so the first thing you wanna do is you wanna double click on the number here, and then you wanna click this button that says link to previous. By doing that, you are making it so that whatever you do here in this section doesn't affect the title page and the table of content page. So now we can do, we can um, change this number to start from page one. And to do that, you're gonna right click and then you're gonna click format page numbers and then you're gonna click start at page one and then you're gonna click okay. So now, as we can see, my introduction page starts at page one and then you have two, three and so forth. But if I go back and look at my table of content, it still has a number one on it. So now I have like two number ones. It's an easy fix. All you have to do is double click and then you're gonna highlight this number one and you're gonna click either delete key on your keyboard or, I, or you can click the backspace key on your keyboard. And now the number on your table of content page is gone. So if you take a look, your title page has no number, your table of content page also has no numbers, and then your introduction page is gonna start um, from page one. There we have it. I have an empty page here. I also have a video showing you how you can delete um, an empty page. If you have a blank page, I have a, 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 a video to show you how to do that. So you can watch that video to see how to do that. But for now, I have just clicked the backspace key once and it carried up my document to remove that blank page. So as you can see, 
um, page one and two, no, um, no, no page number on it, but starting my introduction page, I have one, two, and so forth. I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, please give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe. And thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.